What's up? Thought I'd do a, uh, a different kind of tutorial, but like out here. So welcome to my living room. It's my couch, got some pictures up here, and yeah, it's okay. I don't know if it's good or not, but hey, welcome. And uh, we're back for another tutorial here. Got my nice beer and we're just gonna chill. I'm gonna tell you guys how to uh, set up two new plugins to OBS. Now one of these is a, a pretty simple plugin that you might find useful and the other one is also pretty useful but more for uh, maybe the keen eye that might you know enjoy this plugin. So uh, without further ado let's get right on into what these plugins are that we're gonna be installing today. So this first plugin is actually something kind of maybe useful now nah, it's gonna be up to you whether you like it or not but essentially it's a gradient and it's creating a free gradient and just a simple gradient inside of OBS now you can use this behind your cameras or off to the side of your screen or maybe a splash screen for yourself but it's just to add a little splash of color that has two different colors to it that blends together now this is coming in from Exceldro a really simple tool man all you gotta do is you install it once you install it you add a source in the source list and it's literally just a gradient so you take two colors, black and white, uh, purple or red, whatever you want, man. You take two colors and you can put them up on your screen and you can adjust where that midpoint is, which is kind of really nice. And then you also have a little rotator, which you can change where those two colors are. So if you're someone who's not super artistic, but you want to have some splash colors, maybe behind your camera as a webcam overlay or behind your camera, a little border, or maybe you just want to have a B-Rite back screen with a big splash of color. Well, now you can do it and you can do it really easily and change it on the fly if you choose to. It's really simple. You add the two colors, change how much the opacity or brightness is, uh, change your rotation, and just like that, you got yourself two simple colors. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, you know, going into Photoshop and setting that gradient, exporting the PNG, re-importing it into OBS, I don't want to do that. And this tool takes care of that. So I can literally just add multiple gradients and just get everything working nice and simple. By the way, it's a, it's a Miller Lite. I, didn't, I just needed a beard that I could let sit here and get kind of warmed up and whatnot. Look, I had my frosted glass and whatnot. I didn't, wanna, I didn't wanna ruin a nice beer by letting it sit here while I'm talking and blabbing on here. Our second plugin actually is kind of a cool way. Now this might be kind of cool for some of you, uh, you know, color nerds out there like me, and I like to grade my uh, my images and whatnot. So this is a good way to actually see what the image is that I'm getting, how bright it is, what the colors are doing, and all that stuff, man. So uh, you actually get yourself a free uh, histogram, waveform, and vector scope to be able to adjust your colors exactly how you're gonna see it. Now, if you don't color calibrate your monitors, this is a good way to know the standard uh, you know, that'll be the same across all different monitors. If your vector is always the same, your histogram is always the same, your waveform is always the same, you know, it's gonna be the same on someone else's monitor, most likely, unless they boosted up their uh, their colors and whatnot. But just so you know, now you can install all three of these things to OBS and it's super easy and useful. So you can just go ahead and bring up your image of your camera or whatever you have on screen and also see how your colors are doing. Now, I kind of use studio mode here, so, I'll, I'll walk you through how to do it. Now, I'm not gonna get in how to use the actual uh, vector scope or the, uh, the histogram, but uh, I think the waveform is a perfect place to start for people trying to uh, maybe look at their colors or their brightnesses of their, their image and making sure that it looks good. Now, it's really simple to get this all uh, situated inside of OBS. All you gotta do is simply drop in the plugin by right-clicking on your uh, little source section, add a source, but that source is gonna be the waveform. So once you add the waveform, all you gotta do is look at it. Now it's on your screen. So once you have the, the waveform up and uh, running, it's really simple to actually connect it to the source that you want so you can see what's happening with your waveform. Now, I have a simple display capture here of my other monitor and you can see some uh, colored lines and whatnot going on here and it's really simple. You just you just click a little drop down menu, select the display capture or whatever the source is that you want to see and just it, boom, it's done. That's all you need to do. So now it's looking at that source while the uh, the waveform is up on your screen. Now, how do you see that source? Well, that source has got to be somewhere inside of OBS. Now, here's what I did. I made a separate scene with the vector scope, the histogram, and the waveform all in a separate scene. So now I use studio mode. Now, if you haven't used studio mode, it basically, it basically puts two images side by side. You got your preview monitor and your program. Now, your program is what goes out to your streams or your recordings and all that stuff. And then you also got your preview which is the next scene to come so you can edit and all that kind of stuff before you go to program now in this case i'm actually going to use that little preview monitor to go ahead and see the vector scope and the waveform and the histogram all on one side of my uh, my obs scene and then on the other side is actually the program and i can start to uh, look at 
what's happening uh, with my, my waveform monitor. So now that you can kind of see that that's working, let's actually swap to my, uh, my camera. I, I made a whole nother scene with my camera in it. So I actually have to go back into my waveform, my vector, my histogram, and I have to reselect the actual Sony a7S that I'm using here on my stream PC. You can see it here on the right hand side, but I have to go back through and manually select the camera for each one of those things again, so that they're all linked up. And now that they're all linked up, you can see that when I'm moving around, you can see the waveform moving around with it to kind of show you, hey, my face is in the center, and now you can see what my face is reading in the waveform. Now it can be kind of tricky to look at this it just on its own. I never really understood waveform until I actually took a second to just look at it and I eventually did. So it's really simple. You can see all the different lights in my uh, my stream office here. You can see how they're all kind of peeking around on the monitor and let me actually make it really simple for you. I got my little flashlight here on my phone and if I actually move it side to side you're gonna see that the levels in the waveform start to track with it even when the you know it flares and all that stuff you can see where it's going, what the level of that little uh, flashlight is, how bright it is, and if I bring it close to the camera, you can see it's really affected when I go side to side. So you can see what that level of the, uh, the, the light is doing. Now you're also seeing what the level of each individual uh, kind of color there is doing. You got your red, your green, and your blue, and you're seeing what those levels are all doing at that spot where you're looking on the, uh, on the waveform. So it's a really powerful tool, man. And for, for guys like me that like to color grade their uh, their images and making sure they're looking the same across all my different images and making sure that my brightest area in my scene is not peaking too much, but is up there. And then my face is hitting a certain level on the waveform. I'm gonna be happy. Now, if my brightness on my monitor was cranked way up and I go ahead and try to adjust for that with my camera, maybe you at home that sees my streams or my recordings is gonna see it's blown out or maybe I'm way underexposed, I don't know. But as long as I have that waveform, I kind of have a general idea of how high and how low my shadows are and my highlights are. Now, in case you guys have never installed a plugin or anything like that, don't be too nervous. It's really not that hard. All you gotta do is go to the site, OBS plugins, and there's a whole bunch of them there. I recommend you check them out. I mean, there's so many options out there. All you gotta do is find the right downloader for you. I usually choose the installer. Now, uh, sometimes they'll come in a zip folder, sometimes it comes not in a zip folder. So anyways, once it gets uh, downloaded, you just, uh, you go ahead and extract all. And you extract all, wherever you hit extract all, it'll go to that place. So if it's on your desktop, like I show here, uh, all you gotta do is just extract it. It goes to your desktop. Now it's on your desktop. Then you just double click the folder or you just have the installer in front of you and you just install away. Now, when you do this, make sure OBS is closed. Don't you have, don't you have OBS open because that's not, you're not gonna have a good time. Okay, sidebar, sometimes it works. You can actually install the plugins on their own, and I did that here. I actually left OBS open because I was recording my display. It doesn't matter, but it'll work. It won't show up instantly. You do have to close it down and reopen it back up, but it works. I always recommend you close that OBS when you're installing something new. I mean, you should do that for all your programs. But once it's installed, all you gotta do is just close OBS or just leave OBS closed and then reopen it, and your plugins should be there real simple man sometimes you got to drag files into specific folders but in these two uh plugins you don't two installers you double click on them you go through the processes you either set up into a start menu or not you it just it's it done it, it's so simple so install it it's easy don't worry too much i assure you you just double click and you're done that's it. That's this whole video. I wanted to keep it nice and simple. So now you got two new plugins. You got yourself some histograms, some waveforms. You got yourself a, a vector scope and you got some new gradient. So, hey, new gradient looking good. Anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I also started this new series on my YouTube. It, it kind of goes over some behind the scenes of these videos that I make. Now you can check those out if you want. Now, no pressure, but check it out. It's kind of cool, man. I do a little short films and whatnot and I actually utilize this camera and yeah, it, it's a good time. No pressure. You're your own boss. I tell you guys this all the time. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to go check out my other tutorials, feel free to go ahead and drop yourselves into here. I just realized I'm not on my computer. I can't, I can't send my, my activator screen up. So I guess we just end it here and I just drink. But ch check these links out. Maybe hit the, the sub. No pressure.